for the uh, third day in a row. It was a great college baseball game with two pretty good teams going at each other, right? Um, extremely proud of our players for battling uh, in a situation that we couldn't get anything going. And um, we sort of just wheeled our way to trying to be successful today. Uh, I think it was a combination of the battle that we had and, and our fans today. We had great fans, got into the game, and, and helped, us, helped us create a, a rally there late. Very important uh, for our environment here at home to help us win the game. So I'm grateful for that, and I'm really proud of my players to come back today. Sort of like you, you pull out all the stops, you know, Neff DH's price goes three, uh, Jackie goes to lead off. It looked like you were going to do whatever you needed to do to try to pull this game out. Well, I did. I sort of took the attitude that, you know, I realized that there's a lot of baseball left and it's only a halfway point, but you got to try to find a way to win. And I talked to Jackie a little bit this morning about getting him in a different environment. You know, it's a uh, slumps are hard, and I thought we were going to turn back the clock when he was a freshman. And he was a leadoff guy, and, and just change it up, you know. And he was able to get a couple today, but uh, you know, Neff is athletic. I, I know that we've got a few guys that have played more, but I don't know. I, I like I like who he is, and he didn't seem to be phased by lack of experience. You know, he goes in there and takes his cuts and. He got that rally started for us. And if we had yesterday's breeze, he would have had a solo home run. But we just battled. I mean, we're still scuffling a little bit in the middle of the order there. But, you know, I told our players yesterday, a lot of teams find it difficult to, to hit for average and get runs. So we're, we're not any different than anybody else. And getting Price in there, and so you clearly wanted to hold them right where they were. Well, that was the attitude. I, you know, I. We actually talked about doing the sixth. You know, that's a little bit more extension. But we were, you know, after they got the two runs, the two home runs, and we said, hey, uh, we still got a time run in the on deck circle. If Price can hold them at bay, we got a few frames to try to to get back in this thing. And he was outstanding. I know it got a little hair there at the end, but if you look at the line score, it's pretty good. Ray, did you know after last night that Steven was going to DH again, or was it maybe a game time decision between him and some other guys? No, we, we actually um, stayed here late last night and put together the lineup and decided to, to go with it. Do you feel like you guys have dealt with a lot this weekend to still come through and win two games against a really good team? I, I, there's no question. I'm, I'm proud of our players. Uh, we, had, we have some adversity. We have some injuries. Uh, Matthews goes down again, but you know all teams have situations that are difficult, and you can either use it as a crutch, or you can still find a way. And uh, had we lost today, I still would have been proud of our guys. Uh, we battled. You know, we're not we're not as good as we want to be at times, but that's just the way that's just the way it is. So it was a good it was a good series for us, no doubt about it. Being able to to win two games against that team. They're just, they're just so good. They are. They got their pitchers. They, they just got so many guys they bring out at you. I know we we mix and match too, but they bring so many guys at you, and can't be a better better player in the country than Jason Esposito. The guy can glove it. He can run for a corner guy. He's got some power. He's a he's a first rounder for me. Ray, as an example, he asked Jackie Bradley about his situation. He barely says anything. You ask him about the team, he goes on and on and on. Um, I know we make a big deal about chemistry, but it certainly seems as if this team is extremely tight-knit um, and, and they have fun at the same time, being a, a great combination. Just talk about the team in general, Ray, and what impresses you. It's hard to get to that point, I think, with any team, regardless of what sport you're talking about. But if you can have enough guys that have been around a little bit and they grow together and they have some experience, they get it. Um, it's hard. It's hard to to be an individual and be successful as a team. You got. You know. That's why. That's why there is a team. You have to pick each other up. There's going to be struggles. There's going to be down times, and you're not going to be good all the time. And and you sort of got to keep it in perspective and hope you got enough people surrounding you. And these guys are good about that. I think ultimately, 
that you know everybody everybody you know baseball is a lot of individual battles the pitcher and the hitter and having to make a play and those kind of things but at the end of the day I think this group really really likes to win they they sacrifice a lot just to, to get a win and that's not uh, that's not coaching that comes from within that comes from the older guys and in that locker room in there and what's important so I'm, I'm pleased that we got some guys that make that kind of emphasis on the team. Scott. How hard were you praying with Matt Price there to play? Just praying that nothing else could happen, taking off the shoulder or something else like that with them, taking away the middle of the pitch tonight? I was, um, I was, I was concerned. <laughs> I, I had to, I had to point my finger at him in the dugout when he came, came in to, from the other, the inning that he just finished, and I said, whatever you do, don't you dare swing that bat. <laughs> and, um, he did hit 20 home runs his senior year in high school, but he hadn't been using those muscles that, it, that you have to use to swing the bat. Actually, Neff got a little bit sore Tuesday and Wednesday for taking some extra BP. And um, he gave me, after that first strike, he gave me the look uh, that I'm getting ready to swing this thing. So I just tried to get him to take a little a little swing, not a big one. And uh, 93 coming at you, that's not that easy when you haven't seen him pitch in a while. But, He's, he's a special he's a special player on this team. Mark. Ray, can you take us back to the first inning? We don't often get to see the cleanup hitter running in the first inning. What was going on here? What were you thinking? Um, you know, thinking too much probably, but uh, the fact we got it, we, we pushed a run across, and I told Brady, you know, I'll give you a swing, and then we're going to try to get some more runs on the board. Um, we hadn't scored a lot of runs, and I, I sort of told myself, I'll give you a swing, and then we'll, we'll move them up, and we'll try to get three in the first inning, and then, then maybe we'll score five or six today. So that was kind of my thinking. We, we uh, as we sit here in the SEC, I guess at the halfway point, we're 12, 12 and three, and that's averaging less than four runs a game. I think maybe 3.6 or something like that per game. We just, uh, you know, you get a little, you get you get in that box a little bit that we got to try to score a few more. And um, that's sort of led me to, to putting that ball on the ground. I did it, didn't really want to, but I did it anyway. Yeah. yeah. You, you talked about battling through the um, uh, adversity here recently. Um, what's the uh, update on uh, Adam Matthews' uh, hamstring and what's going to be the process here early next week? In Relation to the Jake Williams situation. Uh, I can't. I can't answer the Jake Williams situation. I, I don't know where that is. It was kind of like, um, you know, I I thought it might have been resolved. It did not get resolved. So that's where it is, as far as I'm concerned. I, I don't know anymore. Um, Adam Matthews. Uh, you know, I hate to I hate to be pessimistic, but it's 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 unlikely that he'll play again. Um, it's going to be you know probably three to four weeks. And if you look at the calendar, that's the last week of the. We're, we're, you know, we're a month into, we got about a month left in the regular season, so um, I'm not encouraged by that. Now he could maybe come back and get some pinch hit opportunities, or, or you know, maybe maybe even DH with some controlled running. But it's just not, it's not encouraging. It's a pretty severe hamstring. He was, he was in pain, just sitting, you know, in, in the training room this morning. So it's going to take a while. Ray, just in perspective and context, what does this weekend mean? I know it's big right now, but like you said, just halfway through the conference season. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know. You try to you – know, I, I told the players, I said, you know, I'm proud of you guys have battled. I would have said that had we lost today. You guys are – you guys uh, do what you can to win. You fight and you, you scratch and claw and you, you show up and go. And that's, that's really all you can ask of your players. And um, we're fortunate. Like I said, our run output is low, and we've got 12 wins at this point. Um, we've, we've had great pitching, played solid defense. Uh, I'd like to see us score a few more runs, but we've done a good job to this point, and, it, and it, it's halfway. You know, we got some. We got a lot left. I guess we're I guess we're finished in the East. Yep. But we got we got a we got a lot to go, and and hopefully you can maintain some consistency and, and win some games. There's going to be a lot in the balance as there already has been, and you you got to. To try to win enough of those games. So there's, there's, as you know, so many good teams in our league. Anything else for Coach Tanner? All right.
Alright, thank you all.